Hello fans and collectors, this is G-Man with G-Man Toy Reviews. This day, we're going to go to a different way. We're going to do the Godzilla 2001 Atomic Blast series. That's Atomic Blast Godzilla 2001, 12 inch, head to tail. From the movie, all out, well, let's get it right. Godzilla, Martha, King Ghidorah, and Giant Monsters All Out Attack. Again, they forgot one of my favorite kaijus, Baragon. Okay, I made the point now on the second video from the first. I'm telling you guys, this little guy's got his own Ripple Tag box, so he's not that bad of a character of a kaiju. Okay, now let's get on with the review. Simply put, this is a repaint of the 2001 Godzilla with, with an accessory part included. But as far as repaints go, this one is pretty cool. Articulation, like the previous version, it's largely the same. Godzilla's jaw opens and closes. The feet can move 360 degrees. The knees can bend backwards slightly. Godzilla's legs rotate 360, and the tail has three points of articulation, along with that unusual bendable wire at the end. We call it the bendy wire. What seems to have been fixed, though, at least in my overall review is the miss section no longer wobbles like the first version did okay for the first time NECA has included something unique an accessory a atomic breath accessory in a NECA figure go check that one out guys even in the blister pack also included in the box as I'm going to show you I don't know if you can see it but it's right there. Let me see if I can beam back in there and see it. It's off to the side there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try. It's right there behind his, uh, see it right there behind his dorsal fins right there, his back plates, okay? There it is on the left there, you see it? And of course, you can see it automatically pretty good there, right there on the right in the blister plaque. It just stands out, okay? Okay. It's beam effect, which is kind of nice, like I already mentioned. It's a cool mixture of translucent blue mixed with white paint, which makes it look kind of intense. I have to admit, I like it. The beam fits in Godzilla's mouth by applying a little bit of pressure to make sure it fits snugly. It only fits one direction, and it's pretty easy to tell which side of the mouth in it goes, okay? The effect does look different than some of the other Godzilla beam effects out there that SH Monster Arts line has been putting out for their Godzilla line of figures. It's smaller in width, has a lot more grooves and bumps, and it is a little stylish to me more than the SH Monster Art is. The paint, for instance, the claws are darker in gray color this time around and are mixed with black in the toenail and the claw ridges for a more detailed effect. What I really like, however, is the black plates. They have this really awesome icy blue color that fade into a dark blue at the base, right at the top of the tail and a little bit on the neck. And there's some men's section for an electric bluish color on the black plates. The biggest effects it is, and it works in conjunction with the rest of the uh, paint, the paint app to simulate the glow of the beam, which it covers a large section of the chest, a little bit of the inner thighs and the hands. It's almost like when he basically lets out his atomic beam, like in the movie, and you see it glow around him, okay? It can look a little weird on some positions dead on. It's like a smurf exploding on Godzilla to me, but... What do I know, right? But the right angle, the beam effect is cool. And it's a good effect that NECA was going for. Just make sure that you have about six inches to a foot distance when you take pictures so you get the full effect of the paint and the beam effect shooting out of his mouth. I think you like it. If you look it up close, it doesn't look as cool and the effect loses or lost its ability so it's better to take from a distance it looks more awesome than it does up close that's what i'm trying to get at okay overall 
this one of the figures that isn't something some collectors are going to rush out and buy except me probably and a few other collectors <laughs> it's a cool addition and a step forward in the line now that effect parts are being added plus i really like the icy blue black plates i think this would be a great great addition to any uh kaiju collection NECA or sh much our line of figures because they stand almost side to side on some of them okay again the blister packs go for about uh, between, I'll say, 65 and 85 for the blister pack because it's the older one. The boxes are going between anywhere between 55 and 75 right now. It depends where you get it. This has been G-Man with G-Man Toy Reviews signing off. Peace.